everyone. We're just going to start our Christmas themed yoga today. So join me on all fours. Wrists uh, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You know the drill. Make sure you spread your hands nice and wide and you push down into each individual fingertip. Push down into the palm of the hand and make that little air pocket between the main palm of part of the hand and the floor. Rotate your inner elbow, activate those core forearm muscles. Pull those shoulder blades down towards the spine and anchor the shoulders. All of those little tricks and techniques, once you get the hang of them, that takes the pressure away from the wrist and um, just stops that, you know, that massive complaint that everybody moans about. <laughs> My wrist hurts. That will help if you, if you push into the fingertips, rotate the inner elbow, anchor through the shoulders, draw the navel up to the spine. Just start to rock the hips from side to side. Centering the mind, deepening the breath, taking deep inhale through the nose, come to the center. Exhale out through the mouth. And again, deep inhale, in through the nose, fill the lungs, breathe down, right down into the belly. And exhale out through the mouth, completely emptying the lungs. One final time, deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Keeping the arms straight, just press your chest down towards the ground and then lift your chest away from the ground, keeping the arms straight. Press the chest down and then pull that breastbone back up. Press down. And we're just waking up those muscles all around the shoulder blade, the rotator cuff muscles. Press down and up, pulling through the breastbone. One more time, press that heart down to the earth and pull back up. Just flip the toes here, gently press those hips up and back for a bent knee down dog. Let the head hang. Letting the chest sink in towards the thighs. Feel that release through the upper back. Exhale, come back down to all fours. This time we're gonna go cat cow. So deep inhale. And as you breathe out, we're tucking that tailbone, tucking the chin to the chest, rounding through that spine, pushing the floor away. Inhale. Lift that tailbone, lift that pelvis, tilt it forward as much as you can. Lift the chin. And again, as you exhale, draw up through the lower belly, activating those core muscles. Inhale, fill the lungs, sink down into that spine, tilt the pelvis forward. And one last time, exhale, pulling up through those lower tummy muscles, really activating those core muscles. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the chin. Come back here to all fours, rock from side to side. Briefly remember you're anchoring through the hands, through the arms and shoulders. Flip the toes, send the hips up and back, bend the knees here. Bent knee down dog, let the head hang, sink the chest into the thighs. Letting go of the head and the neck, letting go of all that stress through the shoulders, through the neck. You can start to pedal the legs by straightening one leg and then the other, and then just hopping from side to side as fast or as slow as you want to. You're just bringing length into the back of the body here. If you feel that you wanna go ahead and release any tension that's built up in the hands, then go ahead and shake out the hands. Don't let tension build up. You can start to rock the hips from side to side here and feel that stretch come into the back of the ribs, in through the back of the body. Letting the head just continue to hang here. 
and finally landing in a down dog with or without bent knees. You choose, you can wait until you've warmed up a bit more before you straighten those knees out. Exhale the body to plank, drop the knees onto all fours, flip the toes so you're resting just on the tops of the feet. Push that left heel out behind you and pull the big toe to the shin so you're nice and flexed in the foot. You're dropping this left pelvis, lifting the right pelvis so, you're, um, so your pelvis is nice and square. Reach the right arm forward. Engage those tummy muscles. We're gonna take a deep breath in as we exhale, tuck elbow and knee together, bring the head in two. Inhale, reach it out. And again, exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, reach it out. One more time. And exhale, tuck it in nice and high to the body. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, arm and leg out to the opposite sides. Inhale, center. Exhale, out to the opposite sides. Keep that leg high off the ground and bring the toes up as high as you can towards the shoulder level. Two more times. Exhale, out, nice and strong through those obliques. Exhale, out, reach, center. Come to the other side, push that right heel out. Make sure your pelvis is square and level, then reach the left arm forward. Deep breath in, exhale, elbow and knee touch, tuck the head, keep the leg high to the body. Inhale, reach, exhale, tuck, inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck, inhale, reach. This time exhale, come on out to the side and inhale, reach away. Out to the side on your exhale, inhale. Out to the side, inhale. Keep that leg high off the ground. The foot comes up level with the shoulder. One more. Come back in that center line, back to all fours, back to your down dog, sending your hips up and back. Get comfortable, release any tension. Let your head hang. Draw your belly up and under. Take a deep breath in here, raise that left leg into the air, point the toes. Try to keep your pelvis square to the ground. Exhale the knee into the chest and move the body forward. Hang out here, the legs high up to the chest. And inhale, lift that leg back up. Keep the pelvis nice and centered and square to the ground. Exhale, knee to chest, hold it here. Inhale it back up. One last time, exhale, knee to chest, nice and high to the body. Inhale, come on back, now open that hip out. The pelvis is tilted out to the side and you're feeling that stretch through the hip flexor, through the side waist, through the hip. Start to extend the leg, let the weight of the leg stretch through the outer side of your pelvis. Exhale, this knee comes now to the outside edge of your left elbow, hold it here. Inhale, tilt it back in that stretch. Exhale, bring the knee to the elbow, hold it here. Inhale, tilt it back, stretch. And one more time, knee to elbow. Tilt it back, open the pelvis and back to down dog pedal out if you've got tension stress uh, shake it out <sighs> taking that right leg into the air make sure you're grounded in that left heel you don't want to twist in the left foot everything is still facing center exhale this knee to the chest move the body forward high to the body hold <sighs> inhale point the toe back up Exhale, high to the body, hold. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, knee to the chest. 
Inhale it back. This time you're opening the pelvis out to the side. Go ahead, straighten that leg. Stretching through the outer edge of the hip. Exhale, knee to outside elbow, hold it here. Inhale, open it back out, tilting the pelvis to the side. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, open it back out. We're going one more time. Exhale, knee to elbow. Open it back out. And come back to down dog. Pedal out, shake out. Bend the knees, lift the chin. You're going to hop these feet halfway in, halfway back out. And back. Halfway in. And back. Halfway in. And back. And you're trying to land as light as you can, transferring the weight into the arms and the shoulders, and pulling up through your lower belly to land lightly and softly. Two more. Make sure the toes face forward, land here in the heels. Reach up, tall, pull the shoulder girdle down, tuck the pelvis, drop over to the left, point the fingers to the ceiling. Arms alongside the ears, inhale up, over to the right. Arms alongside the ears, pulling the shoulders down, reaching the fingers up and forward. Inhale, exhale, swan dive, so stick your booty out, hands come down, fold the head, forward fold. Grasp a hold of your right big toe with your right fingers, and we're going to track these feet by heel toeing the left foot to the center line, keeping the left hand out to the left edge and lift that right leg. Make sure the toes line up with each other. Come back in without touching the ground, come out. And back in, keeping the toes tracked and back. You've got two left, we're just waking up those thigh muscles, those glutes. Stay centered, nice and tall through that left leg and back. Keeping that right foot in the center, the right hand out to the right edge. Ring the big toe on the left foot. Line the toes up, tracking them all the way. Lift. Now remember we're restricted in how high this leg can come because we're trying not to lean to the right or lean to the side. So, because if you lean, you can get this leg right nice and high. We're trying to stay tall and centered and just bringing the leg as high as that will allow. You have two more. Hello, muscles. You can already feel them working. This is way harder than it looks. Come back into center. Toes are touching here. You're in a forward fold. Let that head hang. Inhale to flat back. Hands to the shins. Sink the heart. So pressing the heart down and pulling the shoulder blades back. Lengthen your neck, exaggerate the length of your neck by pulling those shoulders down, pressing the top of the head forward. Draw your belly up and under. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, palm the hands, and you're gonna step or jump to a plank. Hold your plank, energy's leaving the heels. Chaturanga, elbows tucked, with or without knees. Inhale, up dog. Lengthen in the neck here. Roll back to your plank. Chaturanga, push to a plank. Lift your hips, pedal out if you wish. Shake out if you wish. Down dog. So down dog becomes our home pose, our comfort pose. So if you are still finding down dog quite demanding on your body, you can always take child's pose to just gather your breath until you just get stronger in this pose. And it will happen 
the more you practice, the more, the quicker it will happen. Let your head hang. Draw your belly up and under. Move forward to plank. Drop your knees here. Stay in plank. Keep your hips low. Five chaturangas. One, two, three, four, and five. Push back to a, uh, to a down dog pedal. Take that left leg up. Exhale, left leg, left knee to chest. High to the body. Now step that left foot through the hands. Walk it through the center line and come up to warrior three. Hips are square to the floor. Fingertips down either to the blocks or the corners of the mat. Flex the back foot. Keeping those fingers where they are, we're gonna bend both knees, tucking the back knee into the front knee. So one, push away, straighten. Two, three, four, five more here. Nice and tucked in, nice and low. One, two, loosen up in those toes. Three, four, Five, taking that leg back out. We're gonna drop that leg. So a 45 degree angle and line the heel and the arch up. Bring this left hand in front of your left foot. And now step your left leg back to a side plank. Now you can stand at the feet however you want them here. You can raise this top leg into a star. Hand behind the head, tuck it in for a crunch, one. Two, three, leading with the heel as you push that leg out. Four, if you've got your leg raised. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to plank. Moving through that vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Plank. Chaturanga, pull it back up, down dog, well done, pedal. Sink the chest, let the head hang. Deep breath in, right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee to chest, hold it here, hang out. Now step the right foot through, bring the fingertips down. Warrior three, square the hips, square the pelvis, flex the back foot. Use the blocks if you need them. Centering through this standing foot, nice and evenly spread the foot. We're gonna tuck the knees in, push it out. Tuck in, push it out. Tuck in, push it out. Nice and low, get nice and tucked, get as low as you can. Five left, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring that back leg out, drop it down at that 45 degree angle, bring the right hand inside the right foot, step to plank, side plank. Arch the body, stagger the feet if you need to. Come into star, hand behind the head, crunch it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, You've got it, there's 10. Come to plank, move through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Come on to plank, chaturanga, push it back. Well done, pedal out. Let the head hang. Just deep, even breathing here. Then the knees, lift the chin, halfway hops. Remember, 
Use your core muscles, transfer your weight to your shoulders as you hop. Land lightly, here we go. One, back. Keep the toes facing forward. Five more, one, two, three, four, one more, stay here, land in the heels, inhale up, reach, pull the shoulders down, tuck the tailbone, over to the left, over to the right, pulling the shoulders down and away, reach tall, pull down into a squat, hands to heart, drop your weight back in your heels, make sure that you're lifting out of the toes, you're engaging your tummy muscles, relaxed in the shoulders, little tiny baby steps without straightening the legs, just lifting and dropping that foot back down. So it's a small movement. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay low. Now bring your chest onto your thighs and reach your arms back. Look down at the ground, lift your chin a little bit just as if you were downhill skiing. Reach those fingertips away. Imagine someone's holding your hands and pulling your arms back. And you feel that length come into the neck. Now imagine someone's holding onto your head and pulling your head, trying to pull it off your shoulders. Stay low in these legs, feel that warmth building up. Now bring the hands back to the chest, lift the torso back to face front, and throw in those little baby steps again. Stay low. We haven't released that tension. We're staying in that slight discomfort in the thighs, or it might be more than slight, I, I don't know. Keep your chest up, shoulders relaxed. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Bring your chest into your thighs, flat back, reach back. Stay here, try not to grip on with those toes, loosen up in the toes, lengthen the neck. Let that warmth build up, we're gonna hop out of it in five, four, three, two, hands down, step or jump, plank, hold. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, plank, chaturanga, and down dog. Beautiful, well done, pedal out. Whew. Raise that left leg, point the toes, open the hips out this time, stretch through the quads, press down into the right heel. Whew. Exhale, knee to outer elbow, hold. Now step this foot outside that right hand. Spin the back heel, reach that uh, the right arm up. Stack your shoulders, drop in those hips. Deep inhale here, exhale. We're going to reach this right hand, arms underneath and thread it towards the ceiling on the opposite side of this left leg. Inhale up. Again, exhale, reach up and under, really reach and come back through. One more. Exhale, keep those hips low. Reach up and under and reach for the sky, stack the shoulders. Exhale, hands either side of this left foot. The foot is just off of your mat on the edge. You're gonna push up warrior three. Fingertips are down, flex the back foot. 
drop the heart and come out to a balance. Now you can choose where you want to be here. If you want to keep those fingers light on your blocks, you can. Try to get that balance. And go ahead, bend into that knee, tuck everything in just like we did at the beginning and press away. Tuck it in, press away. Keep reaching out to the sides of the room with your fingertips. And then you're gonna try to really stretch out, drop the chest. We've got five left. One, two, three, four. Nice control. There's five. Fingertips can come back down. Drop the back foot, line up the hands and take this back to plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Plank, chaturanga, down dog. Well done, pedal. Whew. Let this chest sink. Have a little breather here, whether it be in down dog or child's pose. Fingertips pressing into the mat, anchoring through the shoulders. Bend the knees, lift the chin, hop halfway up and back, halfway up and back, halfway up and back. Make sure those toes stay facing forward they don't start to angle out to the sides. And back, pull through the lower belly, transfer that weight into the upper body so you can land lightly. And back, three more. One more, stay here, land in the heels, rock out of the toes, come on up, drop to the right. Reach. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Pull the arms alongside the ears. Come back. Drop into squat. Engage the belly. Chest up. Shoulders relax. Lift out of the toes. 10 little mini steps, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one more each side, drop that chest onto your thighs, flat back, reach away. Energy is leaving the fingertips. You're not pressing in the toes. Everything is back in the main part of the foot and in the heel. Reaching, lengthening the neck. Inhale, stay low in the base, but we're coming back into that squat. Engage your belly, mini steps. For 10 more. And six, four, three, two, stay low. We're going to drop your chest on your thighs, flat back. Reach, lengthen your neck. Consciously really pull those shoulders back and away. Sink into the base. Get ready. We're going to drop those hands and jump back in five, four, Three, two, step or jump, plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Plank, chaturanga, down dog. Pedal. Right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Hold. Land that foot outside the right hand. Spin the back foot. Inhale, left arm up. 
Deck your shoulders one on top of the other. Sink into the hips. Feel that stretch. Exhale, reach up and under with that left hand, reaching for the ceiling. Inhale, stack the shoulders, open up. Chest out to the sky. Exhale, reach up and under. Inhale, stack. Exhale, reach as far as you can, really, really reach. And inhale it back. Exhale, hands either side of that foot, spin the back foot, warrior three. Your foot is not on the mat, it's just on the outside edge. Bring those arms out to balance. Flex the back foot, square that pelvis. Use the blocks if you need them. We're gonna go ahead, tuck it in. Keep reaching with those arms to the opposite side of the room. So you're tucking in nice and tight and low, pressing out. Tuck it in, five more. Keep your chin lifted, looking just ahead of you, on the ground. One more time, push with that heel. All right, bring those hands to the mat. Step that back leg back, step back to plank, chaturanga, up dog. Plank, chaturanga, and down dog. Pedal out, well done. Child's pose or down dog, your choice. <sighs> Encourage the heels to the ground if you're up here in down dog. Sink the chest, either to the earth or the thighs. Let your head hang. Engage your tummy muscles. Come down onto your forearms and if you're in child's pose, come back up and set up in dolphin. Elbows narrow. Shoulder width, feet just narrow to hip width. Engaging the shoulders, anchoring them down towards the midline. Draw your belly up and under, move your body forward. Walk the feet out, land in a forearm plank. Now come back up and walk the feet in. A little bit closer. Move your head forward, walk your feet out, forearm plank. Walking your feet in, let that head drop again. A little bit closer. And move the head forward as you come out, forearm plank. And walk it back in. You've got your hands interlaced. Walk the feet in, bring those hips over the shoulders as much as you can. Walk it back out to forearm plank, hold. Throw in some rainbow planks here, hips side to side. Try to get that full dip in the hip. So we're not just moving side to side, we're actually doing that full rainbow arch with the hips. Really activating those obliques, those sideways muscles. Keeping the elbows narrow. It's all in the technique. Four more each way, and then we're gonna pulse. On the right side, come on over to pulse. Five, four, three, two, over again. Full arch. Keep your elbows narrow, your shoulders anchored. This time pulsing on the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Center the body, high plank. Chaturanga all the way to the ground. Land. 
Oh my goodness. <sighs> Hands under the shoulders. Root the hips, pelvis. Lift up to a stretch. Elbows tucked. Hip bones grounded. Lower. Push up to stretch. Lower. Again. Push up. Elbows tucked. And lower. Reach your right arm up and bring your left hand under. Shake it out. Bring your left hand under your left shoulder. <sighs> Root the hips. Root the pelvis. We're going to try to push up in a reaching push up, but we're in a cobra position. So our body is grounded and we're just going to push up and stretch, but we're reaching with the right hand. Try to stay centered. Try not to rock over to the right like that. Keep your elbow tucked. Lower. Push up, stretch. Keep reaching this right hand. Stay centered. That's the hardest part is staying centered. You, you really want to rock to the right. Push up. Keep reaching with that right. Tucking the left. And come down. Swap sides here. Bring that right hand under the right shoulder. Reach that left. Root your hips. Root your pelvis. Push up to stretch, but reach with that left. Stay centered. Come down. Push up to stretch. Reaching with the left. And come down. One more. Push up to stretch. Reaching the left fingers forward. Come on down. Bring that right hand under. Come up to that full stretch. Lift your heart up and forward. Tuck your elbows. Ground your hip bones. Come back all the way down. Bring your arms alongside your body, palms facing the ceiling. Resting either on the cheek or the forehead. Bend the knees. Reach your left hand back to grab your ankle, then your right. Then once you have a hold of your ankles, center your knees so they're pointing down to the ends of the mat. Pull your shoulder blades back to each other. Flex your feet and lift gently into a stretch, into bow. So you're pushing those ankles into the hands, keeping your knees narrow and straight towards the ends of the mat. Just gently here, we're not forcing past our comfort zone just yet. We're just pulling those shoulder blades back, gently introducing the stretch to the thighs. Release and take a rest. So resting here, either on your cheek or your forehead. Bend the knees. Reach back, grab a hold of your ankle. Narrow those knees, center them. Flex the feet. And go ahead, pull those shoulder blades back. Lift up a little bit higher if you want to. You can rock if you want to. You can stay static if you prefer. Keep breathing here. Five more. Releasing slowly, hands under the shoulders. Push up, all fours. Push up, down dog. Pedal, let the head hang. Rock from side to side in those pedals. Loosen up in the hips. Release the chest to the thighs. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left leg through the hands. Bring the knee to the chest. 
step, high lunge, arms up, pull the shoulders down, tuck your pelvis, arms out to the sides, thumbs facing the ground, palms facing behind you, squeeze so you could stretch through the chest, press those palms away, keep the pelvis tucked, drop down and push through the front heel. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades, pushing the palms away. Push up through that front heel. Try to keep both feet centered. Nice and even, you got two left. Keep squeezing, the arms are working hard here. You can feel those muscles through the back of the arm activated. Now we're gonna drop down and we're gonna stay down. And now from here, we're gonna reach the palms towards one another, bringing that chest forward. Reach the arms back, bringing the chest up. Reach the arms into each other and press the palms away, thumbs down. Squeeze, thumbs up here on the reach. Thumbs down on the return. Stay low in your base. Reach. And back. Lift the heart. If activating those arms, activating the upper back muscles. You have two left here. Squeeze. One more. Stay here. Reaching forward. Come up high. Reach tall, sink in the base, drop your right elbow to the left knee, palm your hands, press them into your breastbone. Look out behind you. Stack your shoulders, one on top of the other. Take your right hand to the center line, step your left leg back, side plank. Hand behind the head, up into star, crunch, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Plank, chaturanga, down dog, pedal out. Whew. Well done. Let your head hang, sink your chest. Gather your breath, whether it be in child's pose or down dog. Raising that right leg up. Exhale that knee to the chest, step the foot through. Line the feet up forward, high lunge. All right, tuck the pelvis, balance your body, tuck your pelvis, make sure your hip width, arms out to the side, palms facing behind you, thumbs facing down. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart, drop into the front heel, press, drop. So really be mindful of your upper body work here. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Arms are activated. Pressing the palms away from you. Squeeze, five left. Pushing through that front heel, keeping that pelvis tucked, keep squeezing. Your arms should feel like they're working harder than your legs. I know mine do. Stay low this time. Now we're gonna reach the palms forward together, reaching, press the palms away, lift the heart. Reach forward, the body weight's in the heel, Press the palms away. Arms are getting tired. Keep squeezing. Palms reach. 
Thumbs face down on the way back. Thumbs face up as they reach forward. Press it back and forward. Transfer that weight through the front leg. Press it back. Press it forward. Two left and forward. Lots of reaching in the arms. Press forward. Come up, high lunge. Staying low in that front leg, left elbow, right knee, palm the hands together, push them into the breastbone, stack your shoulders, one on top of the other, and look out behind you. Taking that left leg, left hand, sorry, into the centre line, step to a right side, a left side plank. Lift the right leg, hand behind the head, tuck it in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come to plank, chaturanga, elbows tucked. Inhale, up dog. Plank. Chaturanga, push it up and back, down dog, pedal out, well done. Woo. Sink the heart, let the head hang. Draw the belly up and under. Moving forward to plank, lower the body all the way, root the hips, root the pelvis. Hands under the shoulders. Push up nice and high. Cobra stretch. Elbows tucked. Hips grounded. Lift the heart. Lower down slowly. And inhale, lift. Watch out for hunching in the neck and shoulders. Keep that length, keep those shoulders anchored down. Exhale down. One more time. Press it up. On your next exhale, lower it down. Take those arms out to the side for a rest. Left hand under the left shoulder, right hand reaches. Again, up for your cobra stretch, but you're reaching with the right hand, being really mindful not to roll over to the right side of your body. Here we go, push up and keep reaching with that right. Stay centered. Elbow tucked, lower down. Push up, lift. Keep reaching here. Really, the trick here is to stay centered. And lower. We have one more. Press it up. Reach that right hand. Tuck that left elbow. Really lift the heart. Lower down. Taking a brief rest as you swap sides. Tuck that right elbow into the body. Root the hips and pelvis. Go ahead, lift into your stretch. Reaching with the left fingers. Careful, don't lean over here. Lower it down. A little bit higher this time. Try to really challenge the edge of your comfort zone. Staying centered as you edge that left arm forward, just bit by bit, as you continue to lift in the heart. Lower down. And one more time, press it up, anchor the hip bones. Sweet. 
slowly exhale, lower down, bring that left hand under the left shoulder, push up onto a forearm plank, interlace the fingers, get your elbows narrow so that they're just slightly narrower than shoulder width apart, push up to your dolphin, Deep breath in, exhale, move your chin forward, walk your feet out, plank, forearm. Lift the hips, walk the feet in, transfer the body weight over the shoulders. And walk them out, chin over the thumbs. One last time. If you want, you can let that hand, that head land on the ground, wrapping your interlaced hands around the back of your head. Pull up onto the toes. Go ahead and walk it out, chin forward. Rainbow plank, left, arch it all the way over. No side to side plank, it's a rainbow, so it's the full arch. Keep those elbows narrow, working your shoulders, working those core muscles. We're going to stop here on the right for five pulses. One, two, three, four, five, all the way over again. Keep breathing nice and deep. To the left to pulse. Five, four, three, two, back to plank. Come on up, high plank, chaturanga, up dog. Plank again, chaturanga, down dog. Pedal out, well done. All right, coming down onto your knees. Take your knees wider than your torso. Bring your toes to touch. Press your hips to heels, reach the arms, and just stretching it out here in child's pose, rocking from side to side. Now stopping on that left side, you're going to walk your left, your hands to the left. Press the right hip or the right buttock down towards your heel and really reach your right hand forward, just feeling that stretch through the back of the arm, through the rib cage, into the hip area. Briefly coming over to the other side, so you're gonna rock the hips to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, and bring your hands over as well. Stretching by pressing that left buttock to the left heel, really feeling that stretch through the back of the left side of the body. Come back here to center and just start to bring your knees so that they face forward. You're resting on the tops of the feet. Start to edge your fingers forward towards the end of your mat and let either your chin, your forehead and chest rest in the ground or anywhere in between. Keeping everything as relaxed as you can, stretching through the shoulders, draw the navel up and under, push into your elbows, come all the way to the ground, elbows tucked under the shoulders, Lift the chest, lift the heart, lift the chin. So from here, we're going to bring our upper body to a relaxed position by bringing the arms out and just resting the head on the arms, on the hands. Root the hips, root the pelvis and lift your thighs. You can point the toes or you can just have your feet relaxed, whatever works for you. Open, close, open, close, 
open, keep the thighs as high off the ground as you can, which won't be very high, you don't have a lot of leverage there, but we're continuously squeezing those glutes to keep the legs as high as possible. Three more here. And then come to center and just scissor up and down. Again, you're squeezing the glutes. The, the legs are completely straight. You do start to feel this in your hamstrings as well, but we're really focusing on those glutes working. Keep lifting high, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax it down and push now to all fours. Knees under the hips, press your left heel away. Point your toes this time, hips square, lift, lower, 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 and lower. Four, three, two, bring the leg out to the side by flexing the foot, leading with the big toe. Pull it back, point the toe. Flex the foot, lead with the big toe. Pull it back, point. Now your leg is feeling like lead. Try to keep it as lifted as you can. You're holding that leg up. You're using your glute med, your glute min here to really lift that leg. Good core stabilizers. You have two left. Come back round. Point the toes. Down and up. Down and up. Four more. Then we're coming back down onto our belly. One. Two. Three. And four. Come back to all fours. Lower it down from plank, all the way, resting the upper body here, Whew. no rest for the wicked I guess, squeeze the glutes, root the hips and pelvis, lift the thighs, come out, and in, out, and in, so you don't have a really strained pointed toe at this point, you've just got your feet however they need to be in a relaxed position. You're trying to really focus more on keeping those thighs lifted. Four more. Three, two. Now keeping them up, we're gonna come in and scissor. Keep squeezing those glutes. You can really feel them fired up now. Keep pushing through for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands under the shoulders, push to all fours, knees under the hips. Point your right toes behind you. Down, squeeze, 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 and squeeze. Lift it nice and high. Keeping the pelvis square. Remember, you're not tipping over to the left side. You're keeping everything centered, which does restrict your range of motion. So it's not about how high you can get your leg. It's about how hard you can squeeze your glutes to lift your leg. You got four left here. Three, two. Now we're gonna bring these big toe forward to shoulder height without knocking down my Christmas tree and point. Flex the foot, lead with the toe, point the foot back, lead with the toe. Keeping the leg high off the ground is key here. Your leg feels so heavy. Those poor little glute muscles working overtime. Keep everything centered, leading with the toe, whatever direction you're going. Four left here, four, three, two, get ready for your up down to finish here, up, squeeze, lower to the ground. So you're getting that full squeeze in, 
Pelvis is square to the ground. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back to plank, lower to the ground. Take a brief rest here. Get ready, hands under the shoulders, push to plank, push to down dog, pedal out. Take your right leg in the air, step your right foot through, ground your back foot, come on up to warrior two. So here in warrior two, sink low in the base, lie in the heel and the arch up. Reach those arms for the far corners of your room. Reach up reach out so again really exaggerating the arm movements really pulling through those muscles reach and up arms out and reach two more arms are feeling it here come on out hold straighten your front leg exhale reach forward come into triangle pose reach that top arm to the ceiling stacking your shoulders really opening your heart out and feeling that stretch nice and deep through the inner thigh if you can bring your arm down to the ground without sticking your booty out behind you go ahead and come in a little bit lower Keeping those arms and legs straight, we're going to bring the top arm over and the bottom arm as if you're holding on to a big ball. Lift that imaginary ball into the air. Come back down with it. Lift the imaginary ball up into the air. Come back down. Lift it up so you're using these top side waist muscles to stretch you down and then pull you back up. So that top side waist really should be doing the main bulk of the work. And the way that you ensure that is by staying nice and lateral. So imagine you're between two panes of glass here. You have two more. One more time. Come back into triangle, tucking the bottom in so you're nice and flat. Bend that front knee, warrior two. Windmill the hands. Come on back. Chaturanga, we're almost done now. We're almost at the end. Stay with me. Pull it back. Chaturanga. Down to dog. And pedal. Great job. All right, go ahead. Bring that left leg up. Step the left leg through. Warrior two, I'm gonna turn around so I'm still looking at you. Front leg is pushed down into the heel. The weight is, sorry, arms out to reach. <sighs> Lift your heart, activate your upper back. So many people kind of just hang out here. Everything's slumped. You know, it's an upper body exercise, an upper body pose, reaching, reaching. Your arms should feel tired. Deep breath in, same here, reach up with intention, pull the shoulders down, reach it out, reach up, stay as low as you can in that base, pushing through the front heel, reaching out, up, reaching it out, and up, hold it out warrior two. Keep reaching, straighten that front leg, reach it forward, arm reaches up to the ceiling, stack your shoulders, one on top of the other, tuck your bottom in, you feel that stretch really deep here through the top of the inner thigh, so we're just going to lift the heart, stack the shoulders, tuck your bum, get your, leg as, your hand as low as you can with your bottom tucked in. 
We're gonna go ahead, grab hold of our imaginary beach ball, activating this top side waist now. We're gonna pull up with intention. Now stretch that top side waist down again. Stretch it down, pull up. Stretch it down. Pull up, I've forgotten how many we did on the other side. I think it was five. It was either three or five. So we're gonna do five just for good measure. Pull it up, stretch, 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 stretch. It could be another number totally as well, because you know me and my counting. Come on down. Now we're gonna raise that right arm back into triangle. Go ahead, bend in the front leg, reach it back out, warrior two. Windmill the hands, come on back to a plank, chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Back in your plank, chaturanga, and pull it back, down dog, pedal the legs. Come on down to your knees, sit back in the tops of the feet. So we're nice and narrow in the legs, the knees are touching. The feet are lined up next to each other. Just slowly come to a kneeling position, reaching the shoulders up and back, palms face forward. Tuck your pelvis so that it's pointing down to the ground. You don't want it tucked so it's pointing forward. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, hands to the heart. And just taking a moment to breathe nice and deep in through the nose, all the way down into your bottom of your lungs, into your belly. Slowly exhaling out through the mouth. Again, nice deep inhale. And one more deep breath in. Reach those arms up into the air. Exhale, hands down in front, flip the toes, push into a forward fold. Bend the knees, press up into the feet. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for HIT at the weekend.